Well, hello everyone, you're here with another Bionicle Classic review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on the... It is on the Boxor and the Exotoa from 2002. So we'll start off with the booklet, and the booklet entry is just for Exotoa. Because right. lost the Boxor's ones. So, see the front picture of it? It in action with uh, the crevice cracking and set number 8557. And also a little interesting thing with both of these sets is they both included two different manuals, both of it and the alternate model. So back up to the first of which have for the website. And then after showing all the Tolan Nuva sets and also the Tolan Nuva poster of some kind. And then how to put a Tola into the Exotola, of course. And with this one, but or as it's one's called Exo Raptor, of the same ad. But also actually after the different uh, Kenoki masks you can collect as well as the golden and silver uh, Mata masks as well. And also masks and Krana you can correct, collect. And then add for Boxor and Kanak and Gatak, of which is next next throwback Thursday. And then how to put the toe on the upper raptor. So first of all, as for Boxor, that the character you get with it is Nokbaru. So, which was one of the only two uh, Tahongas put out on shelves. Well, him and uh, Hafu, which came in the power pack. But as for him, he was same pieces, but in black with some gray, but the mask of it in uh, orange. But, and of course, so. And he of which known for being the inventor of it, so he made the box war, which they of course used to fight off the Borak hordes, which of which that makes him one of my favorite Bonacle characters in general. So for the box war, as you can see, it does have a few Borak parts to it, like of course the body pieces in it. And the feet, which do have those coat hanger pieces, but in this odd design that goes in and out of it. You can see some of the odd common technic gearing to it inside. And you wonder why the it's colored. Well, it's going to be the same case with Exotoa, is that? Why have some pieces mixed colored and all this? Because often lost some of them over time, but substituted, and it's what I could get. But also the Borak tooth pieces also should be on these things, but also kind of lost them, but kind of the way it goes sometimes. So, and somewhere in there, in this body is, also do have the like other uh, Victorian arm held there, but just as a uh, little head stopper thing, but if you pull it back, it holds the head up. Well, when you're putting it in. But also, somewhere in there is a Borag headpiece, but in orange. Of oh, which, cool. Good for mocking. And you see some of the same pieces on there, and the black Borag piece for a covering. Since, of course, they built them out of these, out of existing Borak pieces storyline wise in the arms of which also sing a flex tube thing as well as golly mata hooks there and how you get Nuparu or any Victorian in is lift it up and then sort them over these panel links and then or beams and then drop it out and there you go and the main feature is if you like push it down to the sides and it throws a punch. 
but whereas on its alternate build where it just stays still and you can turn the gears like the original Toa Mata sets do. But of course, which is quite cool of a feature that is. And of course, several years later, Nuparu did earn the title of a Toa in the Anika Mari series, that is. And of course, Knickknack 118's review on Anika Nuparu did inspire the whole Bionicle community, of course. So, so I guess that's this is probably one of the precursors to that. Anyways, on to the other one, Exotala. A quite cool one. So the feet of which, which don't have any movement in them except for the hips, which can which use the old style ratcheted joints to click to the sides as well as up and down. You can see a couple of regular uh, paneling, old style paneling, but that can flop open. And also you, with this, you get a whole ton of Rover Rider head pieces, but in silver. And these are what you can fold on down to put a Toa's feet on. And also, up there. I do see the Borak uh, face piece, but in solid black, like we've seen on Technic Darth Vader, as well as uh, Von Nebula in Hero Factory. So one of the only times ever using that. Of course, with this orange knob here, makes it flop open. Well, kind of easily, unless you tapped it in. And the upper part of which, with the Borak eye pieces, or IT pieces, is there, I'm not sure why, but probably an indicator of light of some kind. And one of the Borak shields, uh, round ones, but in silver, kind of cool, good for mocking. Also, have some of those other pieces as well, but in this arm of which, it's kind of the same effect as the box wars with the golly hooks on it. Extended, probably be a punching feature, not sure, but whatever. And the other arm of which, kind of a wimpy Mata arm there, but attached with with an old style blaster attached end. Which they did also reuse in the recent uh, Star Wars action battle sets as well, but with the older style missile added to it. And although there should be some system tubes that connect from here and into there, but kind of lost those as well, but whatever. And what this gear is for is for you to turn it down as well. And then put this out, and then now it's opened up and ready for a tow line to be placed in. And the Toas that I have selected are the ones on the covers, being uh, Toa Mata Tahu. And, well, but this of which is more ideal for the original Toa Mata sets there. But if you are to place the Toa Nuva variants of them, just gotta take off the chest armor and also the shoulder armor and weapons and that's it. Although that can be kind of a hassle, but whatever. There's this little orange thing which makes the butt slip on too. Which makes the butt slip on. And then put the feet onto these. Something like put this up, and then there, it's all loaded up and ready to fight the Bara Queens, or the Bara, of course. So, as for whoever it is that came up with this thought, major props to them. Like, let it not just be this thing available for that, but also as a part in the storyline. But yeah.
And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these are which a couple of pretty cool sets for the time, like do you get some sort of special edition for your original Toa collection as well as but also something that helped fight off the Borak hordes, of course. So they did have some bit of a part in the storyline and yeah. And if you're if you still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And if those but for those of you who's are looking to get these sets for the collection, well, go go ahead and get them, like eBay BrickLink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and thanks for watching.